we are doing a review on an audio interface and hopefully it's in this box it should be the solid state logic ssl2 plus and it costs around about 224 pound or just under and i will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out and this is actually going to be my first audio interface i've never owned one of these before and i'm looking forward to playing about a bit and seeing how easy it is to set up and it apparently comes with quite a bit of software so it should be really good it took me ages to decide which one i wanted to buy because it's so confusing it's such a big market out there and such a confusing market i spent a few weeks deciding which one i wanted and i've gone for this one and I'm not even sure if it's still going to be the best one to uh, have. But this is the one I've gone for in the end. A couple of things to bear in mind that other people have mentioned on YouTube on some of the videos I've been watching. The LED display. They would have preferred a bit more LED display. Uh, maybe a 15 and a 5 in there on both of them. Just to give you a bit more detail on how close you got it to the settings. And I've got to agree. Uh, it probably would have been better you know they could have done it and put it to the side or something they didn't have to have it in that area but they could have made it smaller as well but like i said this is my first one and this is the baby i've gone for and it's not cheap i could have paid 50 pound and got a really cheap one just to get going but i like the look of this one i thought yeah that's the one i want it has a 4k option which basically gives it a bit of a boost to give a better sound quality you can either turn them on or turn them off and this will take two devices at any one time one for this channel and one for that channel that is the idea for that most of the time I will be using channel one for my audio and hopefully the quality will be a lot better than what it has been especially on my live stream and that that is why I bought it and plus if I do any more mic tests or reviews or anything like that I have another connection I can just plug straight into the back. There are a few out there have them on top where you plug all the connections on top. I prefer it in the back out of the way and some people say, oh well, actually you're better off having it on the top. You know, each to their own basically. What we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look around the box and then see what you get for your money. So here's all the connections. So it's a two in one or two in four out USB audio interface like I said I've never used one of these before so it's a first for me and hopefully it'll be quite easy to set up because I've got three hours or just under three hours in which to set it all up and to make this video because I'm live streaming at six o'clock believe it or not so these are all the different devices you can plug it into and we're going to be plugging in that one because technically it's a PC that's what I'm looking for so yeah, this will be hopefully where I control my sound and hopefully, hopefully he says, give a better experience on my audio. So yeah, looking forward to it. So uh, with that, let's get out of the box. Nicely packaged by the way. Oh yeah, it comes with two USBs. One has a USB Type-C connection with a normal USB one connection on it that baby there and the other one is usb type c to usb type c that baby there so it comes with two options and i can use either one on mine on my computer and with my new graphics card that's coming or it's been ordered whenever it turns up i will be able to use that all the time internally on my computer so i'm looking forward to getting that but it doesn't really matter this will power it up as well. There's no power brick that comes with this. It is powered up by your USB. So instructions, I will ever read them later. Oxford, England. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. So like I said, this is the Solid State Logic SSL 2 Plus. And uh, yeah, I am looking forward to uh, messing about a bit. So I will have to read that just to make sure I do think correctly. But let's have a quick look at what you're getting for your money, honey. Right, let's have a feel of the uh, knobs and that. And now it feels. I do feel solid. I'd wobble. 
No Wobble and Nim. Yeah, definitely. There's a little joke apparently, I don't understand it, but it's something about 11. I think someone once said, I'm only guessing here, that someone said, what, only goes up 10, doesn't go up to 11. That's what I'm guessing. That's Apparently that's a joke on the um, people, on the industry that's into all these sort of things. Like I said, I don't really know. So it has 48 phantom power, that baby there, a line input to toggle between a mic and line input, and a high Z button when pressed with the line input button will change to a high Z instrument input. I'll probably only need that one. You've got your LED display, uh, you've got your 4K, which is like your boost. Why they call it 4K, I don't know. And then all your connections on the back. So let's quickly talk about the ins and outs. So we have on the right inputs one and two, these little babies here. That would be for your headphones or, or whatever you're using. And then we have balance line outputs, these little babies here, again one and two. And then we have unbalanced line outputs. So we have one and two, three and four. And then we have phones A and B. So Phones A for that one would be that one now, and that one would be B. Why they didn't name it number one, number two, same as that, so you knew exactly what it was, I don't know, but there you go. Then we have MIDI's in and out, see, so little papers here. So MIDI in, MIDI out, USB, and a Kensington lock. There you go. So that is basically all your connections on the back. There is no other connections as far as I'm aware of. And looking around, there isn't. So that is the basic inputs and outputs, which is all we need to know. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to have a quick read of the instructions and see how easy it is to set up. Right, before we set her up, a couple of things you might want to invest in if it's your first time, same as me. You might want to invest into new cabling or some new connections. I've got a plug adapter, this baby here. This is a one quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter male connection so you put the female in there so if you've got the smaller ones the 3.5 millimeter or the 1 8 inch female connection you might want to push into there or male male into the female into there and that will allow you to use these connections for your audio out it's just an idea it's something i thought about and i ordered them just in case but i'm not going to be using them instead I'm going to be using these little babies and I bought these on Amazon and these are Amazon basics so they're their own and I like the look of them, I had a look at them, they got very good reviews on there and I thought oh that's the babies I want. These are 2.45 metres long so a nice bit of length, I didn't really need them that long but it was either 1 metre or 2.44 so I went for these little babies. There is a few choices there and you can get longer leads. The reason, I, like I said, the reason I went for these is because I like the quality of them. I like the look of them. Amazon Basic, as it says on there. They look like really nice quality. They actually look the part, don't they? So that's what I went for. These cost about a tenner, or just under a ten pound. And I will stick a link in the video description for these and for the plug adapters in case you want to use that instead. Like I said, that is what I went for. And... Uh, I'm glad I did. So what I've done, I've already plugged these into my speakers, so my speakers are ready to go. And I've already set up, my microphone kit is already set up, so this is ready to go. So everything's ready to go. All I need to do now is plug in my USB, wherever I plug it into, and plug all these connections in, and away we go. So what I'm going to do now is plug these little babies in. So red goes into red, and we're going to be using one and two because that's the one I'm going to be using now. So red into there, white into there. The speakers are already on anyway, so that's a bonus, saves you a bit of time. And then uh, the microphone will go into there. And that's all in. So that's in, so I just need to sort out my USB, which I do right now, and we're, we should be good to go. Right, I have my USB lead, and hopefully all I have to do is plug in, and it should power up, hopefully. And there you go. So that is all plugged in. My speakers are turned on. I'm using this. This is volume control for my speakers. I've set it about, I don't know, three, nearly three quarters of the way around. 
Well, it's about three quarters actually. And everything else is turned off. Microphone's plugged in, but it's not on. I need phantom power, so if I tap my mic, nothing will happen until I give it phantom power. And there we go, phantom power is now on, so that has to be pressed down. Nothing's going to work because I need to turn the gain up. So I'm going to turn it up to 50%, and look, we've got a light on straight away. Tap it. So we're picking up sound, so I want to be a little bit more, round about, round about there I reckon, you could go a bit higher. As long as it doesn't hit the reds, if you get the reds you've gone too high like that, that's definitely too high, so it'll be peaking. So you get, you're going to get distortion on now. So round about there, anywhere around there, maybe quarter past, but I reckon about there, obviously I'm going to have to have a listen to it, and the way you can do that is, with your headphones so this will only work for the mic and here's why you might want these other connections I only have the small connection this is a 3.5 millimeter connection or one eighth of an inch but with the adapter plug that in plug that in the top one now and you can have a listen to it so you put your headphones on do that in a second well I'm going to do it right now actually and we can start making some adjustments. So monitor level, this will be for your speakers as well, I would have thought. So if you're playing something on your computer, like I've got it plugged in, say like you're watching something on YouTube, you can control the sound levels through this, provided you've got all the right connections plugged into the right places. So USB has got to be plugged into your computer, and you will have to download a driver, which I've already done, by the way because it will not recognize it what it is so you will need to do that so that is done and then you have your headphones which is this baby here so I've turned that up now and I can actually hear myself talking there is a bit of noise in the background I was expecting that anyway it's how clear or how good a quality if this unit will actually produce from the microphone hopefully it will clear up any background noise whatsoever and then you want to set this i think round about there you could put it on full i can't hear nothing now because i'm not listening to my input so if i have it round here this is for the input of the microphone so if i tap it i can hear everything that's going on but ideally you want it round about there somewhere and that way you should be able to hear noise or um, something you've got on the computer running at the same time like I said say like if you're running a YouTube video or listening to music anything like that let's put one of mine on just to give you an example at Harry's we try to do things as a an little advert. differently our razors don't come with a vibrating quite loud turn that down a bit so that's coming out of my computer going through this and then through there into my speakers so that's easy enough to do let's get rid of that we are reviewing this little basic phone, it's phone here. So it's I can hear that, it does sound a bit distorted. You also have stereo mode, which is, that is off actually, that was already on, didn't realise that. Turn it on. So that is working fine, I just want to test it. So to listen to your microphone, you might want to put this on, but to listen to YouTube, you will not want to put it on because it will sound a bit distorted. That's what I just heard anyway. But I just want to see if it works. And also we have the boost, the 4K. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start one of my, one of my bits of software and uh, we're going to do a bit of a recording and have a listen to see how good a quality it is so you can get a proper idea of whether it's picking up background noise or anything like that. So give me a second, I'll set it all up. Right, so she's all set up, and if I turn up my phones so that I can hear my phones, or I can hear the mic through my phones, I should say, I can hear some background noise, and the way to get rid of that is to turn this down a bit, and I can't hear it, and hopefully you won't be able to hear nothing. It should be nice and quiet, depending on the quality. Also, we have the stereo button. So the stereo button is turned off now. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but... I think I need USB. I didn't have that in the right place. Turn it on. And can you still hear me? 
Uh, looking at the meter, I'm a little bit low on my uh, sound, so what you need to do, and it's not this button here, it's the gain. Remember, it's the gain. It's all about the gain. Turn up the gain if you need to hear it a bit louder, if, you know, coming up a bit quiet. I'm quite far away from the mic, actually. I just brought it a little bit closer. I forgot to move it. So, yeah, the mic is a little bit closer, and hopefully I'm a bit louder. Like I said, you can turn up too much, and that is too high. I should be, or the sound should be distorting now. So it's far too high, so I'm going to turn that back down. Should be about there, and like I said, that should be about right. Uh, anywhere like that so I'll say two o'clock three o'clock for my setup that is about right for me so hopefully everything's right you've got 48 phantom power which you need now we can switch over to the 4k mode so we're on 4k and again you might not hear any difference I can't hear nothing coming through my headphones I'm going to take them off actually they make me hot at the moment but it just gives you an idea of how good or how bad it is and whether you can hear any background noise. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a listen to it and then I'm going to tell you if I think it's worth the money. So uh, I'll be back. The short answer is yes, I think it's well worth the money. I had to listen to the quality of sound and I couldn't hear no background noise. So it's definitely doing its job. So it's well worth investing in something like that if you want to invest in something like that. Whether you're just doing it for like I'm doing for my live streaming and for recording on audio or even if you want to do it for music I think something like this is well worth investing the quality just brings it out better or the sound quality anyway and the long answer is again yes but there's a couple of things to bear in mind one of them being if you're doing live streaming like I do and you're setting this up for the first time you need the audience to give you some feedback and to tell you what bits you need to get right because it's very difficult to balance the sound coming from the computer or what they can hear on the computer like the gaming and stuff like that and your voice so you might want to spend a bit of time messing about or you want to do a local recording before you go live stream just to get the balance right I've done a live stream, oh, I've done several since but I've done a live stream when I first set it up and when I was doing that and played about a bit and asked the audience what they think and they said oh the sound the sound coming from the game was too loud, can't hear properly. So you will have to tweak that to get that balance just about right. But apart from that, yeah, brilliant. And if you don't have the normal XLR connection, you only have a jack plug connection. It's only a small jack plug connection. There's a couple of options. You can either use a adapter, a normal jack plug adapter, to go from the small to the big. So that would be, what's it, six point something, I think it is. Or you can get an XLR adapter like this little baby here. So this does the same sort of thing. It takes your little mini 3.5 and converts it into an XLR connection. So they're not expensive, but something you might want to bear, bear in mind. Also, cabling. I had bought some extra cabling, and this is Amazon's basics, so that was a good investment. Again, you can use jack plug connections if you have an audio device for jack plugs but something to bear in mind you might want to invest in that if you're going to buy something like this also there's always an also i also bought or I actually i didn't actually i did buy it a long time ago but i had an extension cable for my uh, usb this little baby here this is actually an extension because i couldn't get the lead to go from there to there it wasn't long enough and i thought oh i've got some extension cables somewhere so something again to bear in mind if you're thinking about buying something like that but definitely gets my thumbs up I'm very pleased with it I think it's well worth the money yeah you know, it is a gadget you can work without it if you don't really need it but I will be adding something else to this in the near future and that will be a mixer so a mixer will be going on to this as well that is something for in the future so if you're interested don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notified and if you're interested in the mixer like I said I will be buying a mixer to go with this I think the mixer I've been looking at is a lot cheaper than, than that itself so uh, with that if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe thank you very much for watching